good morning students today we are dis oh today i'm going to discuss in this concept and algebra oh. good morning students we are learning in the concept 8 about newton's third law of motion So in Newton's third law of motion, till now we identified different types of forces. Now in this Newton's third law of motion, we are saying how the force develops. What saying is Newton's third law is if any two bodies are interacted with each other, two bodies A and B, they are interacting with each other. the force exerting by the body a on b is equal to the force exerting by the body b on a if any two bodies a and b are interacting with each other the force exerted by the body a on b is equal to force exerted by the body b on a that is if any one of the force if you are taking as a action and another force we are taking as a reaction so simply we are saying we are for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction that means f a b bar how much value the same value having for the the force exerting by the b on a but opposite in direction now from this one what we are understanding is the force always exist in pairs single isolated force does not acts now any so many examples having for this one coin and egg for example all of you know a coin falls on the earth due to gravity why because of the earth attracts the coin towards its center that means the force exerted by the earth on the coin in this direction but you have to understand here earth and coin are the two bodies there is an interaction between the two bodies the only uh, you are uh, feeling the earth is exerting force on the coin but what newton saying is how much uh, force exerting by the earth on the coin the same force exerting by the coin on the earth so this is the action and one is a Rea another one is a reaction that means how much force exerting by the earth on the coin the same force equal force exerting by the coin on the earth but in opposite in direction but we are not feeling earth is accelerating towards the coin why because here the forces are having equal in magnitudes but the ma f is equal to ma 
the mass of the body the forces are equal m a is equal to constant and acceleration is proportional to the 1 by m now if the mass of the body is less the acceleration is more if the mass of the body is more acceleration is less so the coil is a very less mass the force acting on this one having the considerable acceleration that one we are feeling the coin exerting the force on the earth in this direction but that is very very less value it is a very very less amount we are not feeling that one so but the force exerting by the coin on the earth is equal to the force exerted by the earth on the coin that is about the in action reaction and another example now a block is suspended by means of uh, one string now all of you see uh, what are the action and reaction forces on this one all of you know this body on this body energy acts in downward direction and tensional force develops in upward direction now the downward force energy is balanced by the tensional force that's why this block is at rest but these two forces are not action and reaction forces these two forces are equal and opposite direction but what is the action for this one that one all of you try to understand now this is a earth surface now the earth is attracting this body in downward direction that is mg acting in downward direction now the same this is we are we if we call it is action the same force developing by this coil in this block on this earth that is a reaction for this force similarly this one pulling uh, and is connected with a ceiling this block is pulling by the tensional force in this direction and the ceiling is also developing the some reaction or it is uh, the tensional force acting on this body is taking as a action the force developing that means the force developing by the tensional force on the block same equal and opposite force developing on the ceiling in downward direction that is a reaction all of you understood this one once again here a block is suspended to a string now this total system all of you know the block is mg acting in downward direction and tensional force acts in upward direction now action now that mg and tensional force are not a action reaction pair now here and these two forces are equal and opposite forces only what are the action for that reaction now that means now mg is the force acting in vertically downward direction that is pulling by the earth earth is pulling that body in downward direction that is a action this block exerting the force on the earth is a reaction similarly the force developing on this one by the ceiling through the wire is a action the block developing on the ceiling in downward direction is a reaction so here action and reaction are need not be the equal and uh, opposite forces on a single body here always action reaction acts on two different bodies another example for example
another one. I kept a block on a table. Now, Alaji says to me, the block is at rest. Now, why? Because of the force, mg, gravitational force on the block, mg, in downward direction. And the table develops the normal reaction in upward direction. So these two forces are balanced on the block, that is why this block is at rest. But these two forces are equal and opposite forces only, but they are not the action reaction pair. Now, what are the action and reaction pairs here? Now, if we are assuming this is an earth surface, earth. Now, the block is pulled by the earth in this direction is an action. And the block pulling the earth is a reaction. And another one. Now, the block develop, uh, the table develop on the block normal reaction in this direction. That is, if you are taking as an action, and what is the reaction for that one? The block develops the normal reaction on the table. That is the reaction force. So, here equal and opposite forces acting on a body is need not be the action reaction pair. Action reaction always acts on two different bodies. So, here in this Newton's third law of motion, what we are saying is single isolated force does not exist, always force exists in pairs. So, always action and reaction. So, action and reaction acts on two different bodies. So, so many examples, one fish is swimming in a water, by pushing the water, the fish moves forward. So, so many, rock, rocket also, the gas coming out of that one, that is the action, the rocket moves forward is a reaction. This is the concept about the Newton's third law of motion. Thank you.